uh, that which sustained him got I'm caught up that, in all, all this other stuff. Yeah, and the animals I'm hoping, are still... Sorry, pardon? I'm hoping that when the cycle of insanity ends, and it, it does feel like a tremendous amount of work added to each and every day to take care of our health now, but I think it's important. I I often remember that this is not going to go on forever, and no. that this is a special time. The work that we're putting in now will pay off, and I think it's going to be a very short amount of time, at least yeah. based on what they're doing in the skies and what they're doing to our laws, and how mm -hmm. the world is changing so quickly, and people are actually not noticing, which seems quite bizarre. Oh, Agreed. You, we've got people. I, we, I really we've got do. people out there on the fear campaign and everything else. But all I'm seeing is a massive awakening. You know, we've got seven thousand listeners tuned in here today. Um, you know, sometimes there's twenty thousand listeners. That you know, you just wouldn't have seen this a couple of years ago. Uh, we had twelve people on our site a, a year ago. So you know, folks, I know, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, Absolute see it. There's a huge awakening. As I was mentioning way back in the day when we started talking, um, when Clifford Carnicom and I started working, these few other people, we were like little ragamuffins in the wilderness going, no, really, really, really. Um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden there was one huge blossoming and then another and another and another. And now... Oh my, it's exponential. It's it's amazing. Yes, and um and I'm I'm assured that this world when it cleanses and becomes right again will be even more beautiful than we can imagine. But I think we'll have the memory, I hope we do, uh, of what we should value and honor and um you know, pay homage to and be grateful for every day and that which does not serve us. That which is That's a amazing. trick of flash in the pan. Yeah. Well said. Yes, in many ways, this reality that we are all experiencing now really does need to end. And our duty, as far as I can see it, is to be as vigilant as possible for ourselves, our loved ones, our communities, to reach out to other people and to elevate the level at which we vibrate and to work diligently on that between, I think, now and the end of October, possibly, this is upon us. You know, it's like you said, Dr. Gwen, we are in a race. You've, you've told me two things that I live by every day. One is that we are in a race which is kind of a puts the pressure on. And then the other thing you said is do no harm. And I think that's very, very important to listen to your body. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the umbrella we all need to stand under uh, is the do no harm one. And there's so many things that have been brought to me throughout these years um, that uh, I have question marks about and yet people are saying, oh, no, 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 this is great, blah, blah, blah. But if, uh, my criteria anyway is if there is any potential, and I'm human, I certainly have made mistakes, but if there's any potential for harm that I can see, I, I just won't do it. I won't present it because that really is the do no harm on any level. And most importantly, and here's where we really get into a find, is in our minds. We're real yeah. careful with our words sometimes, and we're real careful with how we be, but our minds are just as powerful. And when you start mm. to monitor what you're thinking, um, because thought becomes manifest, if you aren't careful to not, uh, you don't want to do harm in your mind even. And that becomes difficult. Yes. That becomes difficult. It becomes very difficult when you live amongst your friends and relatives and neighbors. They don't see what you're seeing, but you look at them and you see it. 
and there is this urgent feeling and then the mind begins to think golly all these people are doomed it's all crashing down there's nothing i can do and you feel hopeless these states of mind are destructive and i i feel that those states of mind you suggested once might actually make this whole situation worse inside both yourself and those people that you are around yeah it's a hard gig but I really think, in my opinion, which is you know, just an opinion, that there's a wisdom way beyond us, way beyond us, that sees so much more than we can possibly see. And if they are not willing to, uh, these folk that we love, our family, our neighbors, to see, maybe it's divine intervention. Maybe they're, Maybe they can't handle it. Maybe they're not at the stage to of their spiritual journey to, to, to recognize it. You know, there's so much mystery around all of this. Um, yeah, and they, at the be- I You know, I, I used to wanted to get, I wanted to get people and throw them up against the wall and go, really, really, really? No, really, really, really? There's spray in the sky and things are happening. And, um, and then I finally understood that those with ears to hear will. Period. Those with eyes to see will, and 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 the mystery of everybody else's journey, it you know. Yeah, you can't judge other people's journey. No. And Indeed, and and that's what that's a result. I think that's something we've all come to. Well, many of us have come to realize at last, and it makes it easier. It gives you a peace because yes, we love our families. Yes, we love our friends. They're not ready. That's okay. You know, uh, this is our journey. Our eyes are awake. There are enough eyes there now to, to start sharing the information. We just we have a responsibility to keep our feet on the ground, stay in the heart space, and share what we have to have. You know, with the fantastic work of people like yourself, Dr. Scott, and Clifford Carnicom, the facts, the facts, of what are going on, you know, and the scientific community are starting to listen. You know, we have um, various uh, people stepping up to hear it. So sit tight. The next few months is just going to be extraordinary. We have um, some interesting uh, cosmic alignments coming up, and, you know, I think most of us here agree that that uh, they play a, a huge part. And, and what's going on around us. So let's just hold tight through the chaos. We have to hold the vibration. We're anchors. And if people want to hear, you'll, you'll see it. You'll see their, their lights turn on. Um, if you're open to the universe, these people just come. They just come. I can't believe the people that knock on my door nowadays uh, with some, something to share. It's just a beautiful it's thing. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it, Rose? Mm, mm, indeed. Mm. Well, it's I an mean, incredible it's not a religious. I'm sorry. This is not a religious statement I'm making because I don't believe in all that. But uh, a spiritual statement that I would like to make, because I really believe at the bottom of my soul, is we are eternal beings. Eternal. So whatever is going on now is like a you know blink of an eye seems really important to us right here and now and it is actually very important right here and now you know for our soul's journey but the light is invincible it's invincible absolutely yeah absolutely. so aligning with the light um you know huh, it's just sad i guess and it's just sad to be seeing this kind of thing because you just say why? why well it doesn't resonate it doesn't it doesn't vibrate with who we are I don't I, I still can't get my head around some of the horrors but then you know I'm very grateful to them these days Dr. Scott I'm, I'm grateful because if we didn't have this chaos we wouldn't have the opportunity to wake up and uh, you know it's all about the, finding this balance here I believe now um we want to thank you hey, very Rose? much for winning. Hey, yes. I'm yes. sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but you just said something so profound, 
so profound because somebody pointed out to me not too long ago, and I never thought of this, but we need to honor people who are, quote, unquote, have the Morgellon syndrome because without those spirits pushing forth this material, we wouldn't know it was in us, would we? Correct. Correct. So, and that's, that's why I'm eternally grateful to uh, Catherine CC for for coming into our site and making us face an issue that we we didn't want to face. You know, I, every time I dropped into Clifford Carnicon's stuff, it was horror for me. But somehow she's made a place by sharing her journey, and which you're a huge part of, Dr. Scott. That that uh, that it's safe for us now to explore this. And, and many of us have realized that we are infected, but, but we're not alone. And um, certainly that, that's what, what, what we want, you know, to put forward to people. Don't be afraid. Uh, we're in it together. We, we, you know, I look at, at videos of you, Dr. Scott, and you look so beautifully healthy. And you've, you've carried this. You've known about this in your own body for 15 years. Yet you've found ways to deal with it. Uh, and 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 because of that, you're you're in a position to now share and and make the rest of us stronger. And and down it goes, down the line it goes. Um, you know, we've got some big things coming up ahead of us. We've got a world to clean up, and and very soon uh, we'll have that opportunity. Doctor Scott, we'd we'd love to. We thank you so much for joining us today. And Catherine, um, if do you have any words that you would like to leave us with? I just started crying. I don't know why. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'm so filled up. Uh, Rose, you fill me up that way because I feel you. Um, well, no, I just want to say, um, <clears throat> gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. That's all. And Dr. Scott, that. from our chat room, we have several people that saying thank you to you and that they love you. Well, I love them back. <laughs> and I want to say thank you both, Rose, for the, for the wonderful site that you provided that gave me some place to go when I was locked in my own horror and fear and hiding and not knowing what to do. I found your website and it was, it was like I stepped into the fresh air. And I want to thank um, Dr. Gwen for being such a wonderful friend and for guiding me and probably kept me from really harming myself and pulled me up when when it got real dark for me on nights when I was just using masking tape to pull this stuff out of these, these on my skin, pouring out of my body, and the terror that came with the unknown. And then talking to Dr. Gwen really grounded me and set me on a path and helped me to realize that we can live with this thing, that this thing has an elegance to it that is profound. It's incredibly, we can't call it beautiful because it's too horrifying, but it is, it's incredible and that we can dance with this thing and it, we cannot be taken down by it and we can help others to do the same even if they don't recognize it exists. And I just want to say a profound thank